Hey everyone, Josh here. Ben. Yep. And this is the Control V Podcast. Uh, our first episode today, we are going to talk about VR. <laughs> yeah. What it is, uh, how it's different from other new forms of technology, um, and just a you know, just general overview of it, I think, first. Um, in our next episodes, we're definitely going to go into more deeper ideas about where VR can be applied to. Uh, so let's start off, Ben, uh, what is VR? Give me, what, what, do you, what do you describe VR as? I feel like, to me at least, VR is just a separate world from reality. Like it's, it's something else that you can leave reality to do and, and go and uh, do different experiences and explore uh, just anything you really want or anything somebody else wants you to explore because of developers and stuff. But, yeah, digital, digital. Uh, is, I, think, I think that's the key thing too, is that with virtual reality, it's a digital, it's a yes. digitally created universe, I think, in that idea. Yes. Um, yeah, so, you know, I guess for for all the normies, I don't know if normies is an offensive <laughs> word, but <laughs> for all offensive. the normal people out there who, who aren't familiar with VR and maybe are familiar with classical gaming, um, you know, I think one of the biggest distinctions that we can make is that when you're looking at a 2D screen and you're playing Super Mario Brothers or whatever you're playing, yeah. you only have the field of view of that screen and, and where you are distance from it. With virtual reality, I think the whole premise was about to feel that you are the character that you are used you are used to playing. So yeah. you are the one who's in the screen, who's seeing the world in that realm. Instead of playing as Mario, yeah. you are Mario. Yeah. And you have the big nose, and you have the big hat, and you've got the big mitts, and you can jump really high, and, and that's fun. you. That's I. Uh, yeah, that would be really fun. Mario, actually, Mario would be is a really cool yeah. idea. I yeah, feel like Sonic would, be, would make you throw up. Yeah, probably. But Mario would be really fun. Yeah, it would be a great yeah. platformer. Um, <laughs> so, in so with VR being so new, it's still only a few years old, and the additional technologies that people have uh, that have come to light. So, yeah. augmented reality (AR), uh, extended reality (XR), and mixed reality, which is MR. Um, can you shed, can you help shed me, let's shed a little bit of light on what the differences are between each of those technologies if we can. Yeah. Trying to give the, the I'll key get into, differences. I'll get into augmented reality uh, and then you can get X, uh, XR. Yeah. Uh, I, augmented reality is actually super cool. Basically, uh, one of the best applications that I've seen is a pair of glasses. Like they've got a pair of glasses that changes the things around you and specifically for the construction industry. Uh, you can see like pipes in the ceiling and and the uh, the plumbing underneath the the building with these glasses on. Even though you can't see through walls, you can with XR or AR. Um, and I think that's super cool. Augmented reality is basically just reality, but with digital impl implications Dig on top digital of it. Imprints. Yeah, digital, digital overlay. overlay. Yeah, I, well, because I I like to come back again to what do people recognize or what are people familiar with? Pokemon Go. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Took the world by storm for a good year or less. You know, sadly, there was a lot of mishaps with it because of people were definitely not paying attention to the real world. Oh, man. But that idea that you can have a digital Im a digital imprint on your phone showing up in your real world. Did I ever tell right. you that I went biking when, we when that came out? No. Uh, me and my buddy would go biking every night to uh, the park that's near our house and literally just play Pokemon Go for hours, <laughs> hours. I just was, tried it. We were out until like two or three in the morning were, just biking. Were you trying to catch them all? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes uh, Victoria Park would have tons of Pokemon and it was just so much fun and we were running around and there'd be, there'd be hundreds of people running around doing yeah. the same thing uh, and and so many times we would see one on the map run to the location or, or bike to the location and there would be 20 or 30, 20 or 30 people just standing there trying to catch the same Pokemon yeah. <laughs> so yeah so that's augments reality uh, mixed reality so mixed reality is it's a blend, I guess, what you could say, of virtual reality and the real world. So mixed reality, you often see it with a green screen done um, where you are recording yourself in the real world on a green screen, per se, playing a virtual reality game. And when you, you're you also recording the virtual reality game separately and you're overlaying that on the green screen. Mm -hmm. So the way when you're watching it, mixed reality essentially is, you're watching what it would look like if you were physically implanted into the virtual game, but from that third person perspective. So using the, Mar <laughs> using the Mario yeah. analogy, so 
original gaming, you play, you're playing Mario from a 2D screen from a distance and you're playing from a third person perspective. You're not, you're playing, you're, you're seeing Mario, you're getting to move him. So VR, you're Mario now. So you will never see yourself because you are yourself unless you're looking in a mirror. But you are in Mushroom Kingdom and you have the castle in front of you. Mixed reality now kind of goes back, it goes back where you're watching the TV, you're watching Mario, but you're but you're actually able to watch you as Mario when yeah. you were playing that. So that's the mixed reality. It's um, like uh, if your character didn't have an avatar and you just filled out the position of your yeah. avatar. Yeah, exactly. It's like um, yeah, again, if you're playing Mario, you you could play in third person. You can see Mario, but instead of it being Mario, it's you. You're there. That's you. That's that you're playing from that person. Yeah. Um. And and that's what. I, I think it's super cool to watch because some of those extra videos that you can see for for AR goes it shows you exactly what you're doing in VR. Mm -hmm. But if you look at like uh, a good example is uh, audio trim. All you see when you're playing, if you're playing from behind, is two balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. There's yep. two different That's colored it. balls. Your hands. That's all you mm, see. Yeah. And if you play in, if you see the augmented reality or sorry. Mixed reality. Yeah. You see that from behind. You'll see your body, and yeah. you're, then the, you're holding the balls, and that's different. Yeah, because uh, it's like a dance game. Yeah, it, to to make sure that people aren't confused too, playing you don't really play mixed reality. No, mixed reality is an after product. It's like it's like if you were to film a movie versus watching a movie, mm -hmm. right? So filming the movie is playing the VR, watching the movie is the MR. Right? Yes. That's where you're watching the mixed reality version. It's already a post product. It's not. It's not necessarily live, although it can be done live. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but you're not playing MR. You're playing VR, and it's being presented as MR. Uh, extended R, XR or extended reality is the next term for what's after that. What's additional onto that? So you start to branch out not just from a visual. But you look at haptics. Mm. So, do you have uh, the most common thing being the haptic vest, right? So, you have a vest that you're wearing that when you get poked or you get punched or you get shot and you feel that little tinge towards yep. you, um, that's a definitely an element of it. What other extended, what other additional peripheral technologies being added um, so, that you're aware of too? Uh, one of the things that I really, really like uh, the idea of is specifically with a game called VR Chat. Uh, people have full body tracking. Uh, oh, you yeah, can put okay. trackers on your t on your knees and your feet and your hands and your elbows. And uh, when you move, your character will move exactly where those trackers are. So if you're dancing in VR, then you're dancing in VR. And if you do a flip in VR, you're actually doing a flip, which is weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, but I can only imagine once we have full body tracking that's not uh, limiting. Because that's incredibly limiting right now. Yeah. Uh, and, and honestly, one of the coolest things is uh, there's a a set of gloves with like metal backings that are like pressurized. And so oh, when you're yeah, trying to grab yeah. something, it will physically hold your fingers back when you're grabbing it so that so you it feel simulates pressure. As if you were actually picking something up. That's Which really cool. Which yeah. is really, really yeah. cool. Because if you're like, if you grab something like this and you try to fold your hands in and it's like a flat box, your hand is going to be stuck like this and you cannot pull your fingers in. Yeah. I think that's really cool. So that's it for today's episode. Um, for our next episode, we're actually going to move another step further and talk about VR arcades and where they present themselves within the industry. Uh, if you want to book, go to controlvarcade.com. If you want to become an owner of an awesome VR arcade like this, go to virtualrealityfranchise.com. And if you want to chat with us more, uh, what was the link? <laughs> I love VR. I, I love VR. I love virtual reality. At something or other at dot com check the links like us follow us you know add us do it all we're all on the social we love you guys so much uh thanks for coming.